my back garden is really really dark um, we're getting into the winter months now so when people want to go into the garden to put the bins out or whatever it's just too dark to see so I've bought myself a Philips Hue outdoor wall light I think it's from their discover range um, so I'm going to take you through the installation configuration of that and show you the end product of it all up and running and I'm really super pleased with it it's really bright light and bright so if you'd like to learn more then stick around and watch the video thanks for watching Hello, my name is Paul from Project Smart Home. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the installation and setup of this Hue, Philips Hue, um, if I can get it in focus, Philips Hue um, Outdoor Discover Wall Light. Um, so I'll take you through what's in the box. Um, I'll take you through the electrical installation that I've had to go through to get it up and running and then show you how wonderfully bright the light is at the end, as well as a little bit, a bit of a teaser if you like, of how you can use home automation and Home Assistant in particular to manage and control your smart home. So if that's gonna be something of use, then stick around and watch the video. Thank you for watching. What I'll do then is take you through what's in the box. Um, I'll go through the technical specifications a little bit later. So as you would expect, there's some um, uh, instructions in the box which are really light, um, but there's loads and loads of health and safety information in there which um, adds to the packaging, but it's mainly cardboard box, um, so it can easily be recycled. So the unit itself comes in quite a nice, um, I guess it's recyclable, almost like a cloth bag to protect it from dust and you get an allen key with it so with the allen key you can change the the direction of the display up and down and left and right once you've got it fixed to the wall um, so the unit itself on the back has a rear entry uh, hole for the cable to come in which is a little bit annoying because I don't want to use that I, I my cable is going to be coming along the wall into the side of the unit so I've had to drill a hole in the side of the fitting at the back to get my cable through um, to take the back off there's a screw at the top and bottom and that just pops off and then that's where your live neutral and earth connections are and that white box in the middle there is the LED driver for the for the lights themselves and then that white plug you can put in place uh, if you are coming into the back of the unit then your cable would come through that plug into the unit itself and you cable it up so there's some instructions on how to fit this um, if you're not com confident and comfortable with electrics then obviously get your local electrician to to set this up for you um, but before you do install it make sure you isolate the electricity before changing anything so as i said earlier the cable comes into the back of the unit through that little plug hole thing and then you can connect the cables up to the live neutral and earth the brown the blue and the green um, once that's connected up and the the unit's been resealed using those two screws then you can obviously turn the electricity back on and alter the direction of the lamp um, that's suitable for what you need to use it for. So I've brought up the Philips Hue website to have a look at the product just to give you a view of the technical overview. I didn't buy the outdoor light from the Philips website, I actually bought it from Amazon because when I bought it you could actually pay for it over three months. So rather than paying £180 on the um, Philips website in one go, I kind of broke it down to three payments, which makes it a little a little less painful. Um, so it's the Discover Outdoor Floodlight that I've been installing. Um, let's go down and have a look at the specifications of it. Um, so it's black, metal, um, it's for outdoor use, obviously. It's the, white, the size, weight, and dimensions are on the screen. The 
bit that I want to show you is the technical details at the bottom. So it's an LED light. Uh, it looks like it's got two bulbs actually in the unit itself, but it says it's 15 watts. Um, and it's incredibly bright. You'll see at the end of this video, I, I was uh, a little bit concerned about how bright it was going to be in the garden, whether it was going to light up the area that I wanted it to, but it's done a fantastic job doing that. So you'll see at the end. It's IP44 rated for outside. I, I was expecting a slightly higher specification, but hopefully it'll be okay over time. I've had it installed now for uh, probably a week. Uh, we've had a bit of rain and it's it's still functioning, so hopefully it'll continue to to work as, as normal. Um, and so with my configuration, I didn't need the bridge because I'm uh, integrating mine within Home Assistant. So if this is the first Philips Hue light that you're installing, then you will need to add the bridge to the configuration. And I've done other videos on how how to um, install and set up that bridge um, if it's the first hue light that you're doing. But if you've already got it, then you'll know what you're doing and you just need to add it into your hue setup. Uh, hopefully that was useful. Thanks. So what I'll do now is take you through the electrical side of things that I've had to get in place to get some electricity outside to supply the light. So I'm in the kitchen now and the, as you can see there, there's a couple of sockets that are on a ring main in feeding the kitchen so what i plan to do is take that double socket out in the middle and replace it with a single socket which will be on the ring main and a switch fuse spur which will feed the light and can just confirm there we've got a ring main in place so um, i've now put two single sockets in place ring mains on the right hand side going into what will be a single socket and then I'll have a spur on the left hand side so the big black cable that's pointing in the air um, goes back out through the wall uh, onto the wall where the light is going to be on the outside of the house and then there's a, a spur link between the two sockets that will feed that switch fuse spur. So on the other side of the wall there unfortunately the wall's blown out a bit as I've come through the wall but you saw the black cable that goes into the switch view spur that's come out the wall there. So I'm going to run that cable up the wall vertically, then across horizontally to the middle of the wall at the top where they want the light. So I'm going to fix the cable in place with these linear clips that I've used before. I really like these. They're very discreet. They just wrap around the cable, drill a hole in the wall, and you just simply knock, just simply knock the uh, the cable the linear clip into the wall that holds the cable nice and tight and it's as I say, it's quite discreet so you haven't got cable clips sticking out all over the place. So just giving you a bit of a demo here of, of um, what it looks like. So I used a 6mm drill bit, uh, drilled about 30-35mm into the wall as per the instructions on the linear clip box. So. Cables coming out of the wall from the socket, from the switch fuse spur, up the wall, and then across to the back plate of the hue light that I've fit, fitted. So I've now got the ring main connected into the single socket and the spur in place, so the power is now back on, feeding the light. Bit of a demonstration then. So this is the back garden. Um, it's um, a bit of a mess at the moment, to say the least. We're having some, we're about to have some landscaping done. Um, so as you saw, it was kind of pitch black at the beginning, and that light has really lit up that whole area. Considering what did you say it was 15 watts in the technical description. So that's incredibly bright for such a, a small wattage lamp. Um, I've got an existing hue motion sensor in the back garden as well that controls some hue pedestal lights. So as soon as motion is detected, then that light will come on. So hopefully that will encourage the kids to go out in the garden and um, put the rubbish in the bin when they're supposed to do their chores. But I'm pretty pleased with that. It's good. It's nice and bright. 
What we'll do now is take you through adding the new Hue Light into Home Assistant. So um, I'm using Zigbee 2 MQTT um, on my Raspberry Pi with Home Assistant to manage my um, Zigbee devices, my lights and sockets and all those sorts of things. So um, it looks as though the light's already been detected because I had permit allow. So it's already, as the light's been turned on, it's already detected that, it, that the light's available. So what I'm gonna do is uh, rename the light to something a bit more sensible so I understand what it's called. And then once I've done that, then I should be able to consume the light within an automation. So now we've got the light in Home Assistant. I'll add the light itself to an existing automation for my back garden. So back garden's got a couple of lights in there already, as well as a hue motion sensor. So when the hue motion sensor starts detecting motion, then it'll switch on the light. If the um, autom if the sensor stops detecting for a minute, then it switches off the light. So there's two options depending on whether it's detecting motion or it's stopped detecting motion. So in my action, I'm turning on back garden lights, which is essentially a group of lights. So I need to go into my helper within Home Assistant and update that helper for the back garden with my additional light. So it'll turn on the new light as well as existing lights under that same automation. If you want some more details about how these automations work, leave me a comment uh, below and I'll get back to you or create another video on how to, to do this. But I've done quite a few videos on, on helpers and uh, creating automation. So hopefully, hopefully you should be okay with that. So that's now that's in place, then I should be able the lights, existing lights and the new lights should come on automatically. Thanks very much for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful. I've certainly enjoyed making it and I'm, I'm loving the new light in the back garden. It's super bright. Um, so I've taken you through the unboxing of the Hue Phillips Outdoor Discover Wall Light. That's quite a mouthful. I've taken you through what I need to do from a, an electrical point of view to get power outside of the house. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing any electrical work yourself unless you're capable and competent in doing so. Um, contact an electrician. I am an electrician. Um, but yeah, make sure that you know this, this work is done safely. Uh, I'm super pleased with the light. It's much brighter than I anticipated being a, with it being a, an LED light, um, but it lights up the back garden area that I wanted it to. So hopefully when we've had the, the garden finished, then we'll be able to enjoy that a little bit more. But in the short term, it's going to light up the garden so we can all get out and put the bins out without falling over something. Um, I've added a little bit onto the end of the video around home automation. Um, I guess it's a bit of a teaser how you can use home automation to integrate your smart home lighting rather than using the, the Hue bridge and those sorts of things. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about that, then maybe watch some of my other videos. But if you've got any specific questions, then leave them in the comments below. If you found this useful, then please consider liking and subscribing. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.